Hi guys, JSQ here and welcome to a Minecraft 1.11 update video. Now this video, as you can tell by the title, as that may be why you're here, is how to use the exploration maps. There are two types of maps in this update, the woodland exploration map and the ocean exploration map. And yeah, I'm pretty much going to show you how to get them and I'm probably not going to show you how to use them because maps are pretty self-explanatory on this game. You walk, fill them in. But these maps have a difference. They show you ocean monuments and woodland mansion, wood, woodland mansions on the map. Um, so yeah, what you have to do to get these are you have to find cartographer villagers, which are the ones in the white gowns. Um, there are two types of villagers in white gowns. There's librarians and cartographers. But if you right click, you can see the name of them. Librarians will show up with the word librarian at the top of this interface. Cartographers will show up with this weird looking Russian writing um, if it's Russian I don't know someone correct someone will probably correct me now saying what exact language it is but yeah um, what you have to do is you have to get to tier 4 level of the trade with these cartographers so I've traded in paper already I've traded in compasses I've traded in emeralds and now the tier 4 trades have unlocked and it gives you both the ocean explorer map and the woodland explorer map as well so we're going to trade him some emeralds and compasses for this ocean explorer map. And we're going to trade him some woodland explorer. No, we're not. We're going to trade him some emeralds and compasses for woodland explorer maps as well. Um, woodland explorer maps cost a bit more. Um, possibly because they might be better to find these rare mansions which are new in this 1.11 update as well. They contain stuff like uh, evokers and different types of villagers. I think the other villager is the... Uh, begins with V. Uh, is it one of these? It's the Vindicator. Ill Illagers are new in this 1.11 update, like I just said. They're like outcast villagers which don't really live with the other villagers. And they spawn in these uh, woodland mansions, which are really rare spawn. So, um, yeah, these are the maps, by the way. <laughs> um, so, as you can see, I'm not actually in these areas. The you can get different types of maps, I think. As you can see by the number, shows a different area of the world, I'm assuming. I'm not quite sure about that. I wouldn't take my word on that. But, um, yeah, once you get to these areas of the world, you see these blue dots? I'm assuming they're the monuments. Like, on this Woodland Explorer map, this could be... Um, the blue dots could be possible locations for the Woodland Mansions. I'm not quite sure on that either, but um, I'm assuming it is because I haven't explored this part of the map yet. But... Um, the ocean map will show you ocean monuments so once you start exploring it it'll color in blue for the ocean areas and uh well them dots could just be the ocean maybe i reckon there might be you know but um yeah if there are any monuments you will see the icon on there if you i think you'll see it straight away or you might see it um or you might see it when you start exploring but it will start coloring in the map and it will look really cool but um, yeah, that's pretty much how you use the map. You have to find the area of the map, or find the area of the map in the world, and start exploring it. Um, but I'm going to show you a cool little thing to end this video. If you want to duplicate this map, as you, I've got loads in here, and this was like legitly duplicating them. Obviously, I ain't done this legit. I've been in creative. But um, the thing is, if you want to duplicate, say this woodland map, you need empty maps. So say if you put one map empty map in there, you'll get two back. Just the original and the other one and then so on if you just put nine in there you will get nine woodland explorer maps so that's how you duplicate the same map uh, you can do the same with the ocean explorer map as well so if we just keep putting them in there it will just give you more um, so that's how you duplicate the woodland and ocean explorer maps so they're pretty self-explanatory if you want to go explore the areas of the world they will show you the ocean monuments on the ocean maps or the woodland mansions on the woodland explorer map so that's pretty much how this uh this minecraft 1.11 explorer maps work now because this is the exp exploration update i suppose these exploration maps are a pretty big part of it um it's still relatively quite a small update for minecraft there are bigger ones been done in the previous previous updates but Nevertheless, this update has brought some pretty cool things to it. And if you want to see any other videos or little tutorials or how-tos I've done on different areas of this uh, Minecraft 1.11 release, then please click the videos at the end of the video. And um, also, 
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like if you found it helpful and stuff. And also go follow me on social media and stuff like that. I'll be following uh, people back on Snapchat. My Snapchat is MrJSQ. Um, the links will be at the top of the screen around about now. So, uh, yeah, guys, it's been JSQ. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And, by the way, if you have any questions on this, please comment below. I'll try and help you out. But if you want to go and find some more technical answers, then I suggest going to the wiki and looking at the Minecraft 1.11 release so uh yeah guys it's been jsq thank you so much for watching don't forget to click them videos at the end of the uh end of this video actually and check out some other cool little features of this update so yeah guys i will see you in my next video peace <laughs>